I remember John's last trip to Vancouver. He came out to say goodbye to friends and he was barely standing up on his own. He wanted people to see who he was at that point and to care for him for who he was at that point and not to apologize for who he was. By this time, John is brown. And the reason he, he was brown is that he had lost the use of his liver. Just fine. Oh, dear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't you that no. Nope. No. 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 Throughout his sickness, he didn't pity or feel sorry for himself. Oh, God. And he looks so strong to me. You doing OK? Yeah. <laughs> So did you bring the CIA in or what? <laughs> Hi there, big guy. How are you? Remember that Andrew and Janelle woman who, when we were first at the founding of the Human Rights Coalition and she got really pissed off at you? Alley class. Yes. She said, look, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> she said, you may be discriminating against, <laughs> discriminated against, but you can pass for white. <laughs> well, <laughs> Ali will be pleased to know that while, that while I'm still a son of a bitch, <laughs> at least I'm Go not passing right for white. <laughs> Yeah. Well, look who came to dinner. Oh. <laughs> and Steve. Steve. I don't share North Americans' anxious and uptight fear of death. Death's very natural. You know it will come one day. And uh, if you happen to know that it's likely to be happening soon, it allows you to free up. And it allows you to come to know when everything's been stripped away, what's really important to you to be doing and to be done.